Let's take a close-up look at the Skywatcher Mercury 705. Just take a quick look at the complete assembly here. We've got a 500 millimeter, 70 mil refracting telescope. It's an ideal scope for general purpose uh, viewing. That would include nature watching as well as astronomy. It's actually got a specially corrected uh, finder that's included in the kit so that you get a, uh, an upright image in the viewfinder, making it ideal for terrestrial use. Mounted on a very solid tripod, um, it's got slow motions as well. Um, they can be overridden by the lockable clutches so that you can move the telescope to a new position very easily, lock it in position, and then you've got nice smooth, uh, smooth slow-mos uh, to get you onto the target. Um, let's just give you a close-up view of the tripod here. It's a full height tripod. No need to worry about it being uh, a little bit too tall for possibly a child's use. These legs are fully extending and can be set to a, uh, a much lower position. The head here, the AZ-3 tripod, which we've seen in use on a number of mountings, really is designed for a heavier telescope than this, and that's absolutely brilliant because it really means this little telescope is really nothing for it. It's, uh, it's easily able to carry this. Um, you could put a much larger telescope on here, and, well, and that's really quite a golden idea um, for a telescope. Actually having a mounting that's overbuilt, can't stress that too highly. It really makes using this telescope a great pleasure because it really is very solidly mounted on here. Can't think of another telescope at this kind of price break that would really give you such a solid mounting with it. Uh, certainly nothing available for less than about 150, maybe 160 pounds. Going back to that tripod again, um, it really is super lightweight. The whole thing is aluminium construction. So you can see, you can just pick it up. You could even leave the telescope semi-assembled. And although it seems to have quite a large um, spread on the legs here, probably as much as about 35 inches. Very easy to leave this telescope set up and just put it in a shed or a garage and just put it out through an ordinary door and make it ready to use. That's ready to use either for looking at terrestrial targets, bird watching, wildlife watching, or using it up into the night sky. Um, would probably benefit at some point if you're going to do a lot of astronomy with it by a little change to the back end here possibly exchanging this at some point and putting a 90 degree um, star diagonal in, in the back here. Um, because obviously as the telescope angle um, increases um, in the night sky, obviously it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier. You can see with that kind of angle it would be a lot e easier to use if this was at 90 degree. Good news is that diagonal is available for less than 20 pounds, so that's not going to be a very um, expensive accessory to actually get that upgraded. As it stands, the diagonal you get with it is perfectly good for doing some very good basic astronomy, so it's certainly not something you think, need to think about straight away. While we're looking at the eyepiece holder, let's just look at the two eyepieces you get with it. You get a great pair of eyepieces uh, included with the telescope. You get a 10mm modified Acromat um, uh, eyepiece and also a 25mm as well. These eyepieces are going to give you 20 times and 50 times magnification. You can upgrade these with something like a Barlow lens or even shorter eyepiece uh, focal lens that would take you up to a maximum of about 140 times um, with this telescope. Let's put that in some perspective for you. Um, with the eyepieces supplied, um, the kind of things you're going to be able to see in the night sky would be the rings of Saturn very easily, uh, cloud belts on Jupiter, uh, the four moons of Jupiter are going to be a very easy target with this telescope. The moon is just going to be an incredible uh, landscape of ancient craters and ravines and valleys, mountains, very easy to spot with this telescope. Um, plus you can use it to uh, watch fleas on, a, on, a, on the bird on a bird table. So really an ideal, very simple, easy telescope scope to use. Just want to take you on a quick guided tour of the features of the Mercury 705. It comes equipped with this really splendid uh, red dot finder. This makes the telescope very, very easy to use uh, when you're looking at targets in the night sky. Um, it's a bit like the head-up display in a, uh, a cockpit of, an, of a fighter plane. Um, you don't actually have to put your eye close to it like this, like you do with most finders. You simply look through the finder and include the finder in your field of view and it appears to project a red dot on, on, the, on the sky. Put the red dot over the target you want to look at, hey presto, your 
the target's going to be in the, in the main telescope. Very easy to use. can also be used during the day because a rather nice feature on this uh, red dot finder is it has a brightness control and you can really turn the red dot up sufficiently brightly that you can actually use it in broad daylight. So that's really a nice little feature. Don't forget to turn it off, of course, when you're using it. Um, other features, we've already mentioned the included 45 degree diagonal. comes with two eyepieces. comes with these rather nice flexible drives that makes it very easy to hold them in different locations the AZ3 mount, we've already gone through that one. Uh, tube mounted rings, we've actually got a camera mount on the top of the uh, tube mounting ring there so you can actually fit a camera to the top of this and while we're on the subject of cameras on the end here um, we've actually got a T-mount uh, connection point so you could actually put an SLR camera on the back here. Here it is with the SLR uh, fitted to the telescope very easy connection, just all you'd need to equip yourself with is a standard um, uh, T-mounting ring for your particular brand of SLR and the, tele and the camera can be fitted very easily. Ideal for doing uh, photography of uh, nature subjects, uh, wildlife, birding, that kind of thing, but also good to be able to do some astrophotography, uh, photographs of the night sky. Probably at its best taking um, images of the moon and the brighter targets, that kind of thing, possibly the sun with a solar filter. You would have to be safe, of course, and add a solar filter to the telescope, but lots to do with this instrument and very well equipped to be able to doing photography with it. Probably recommend using it if you're really going to get into photography with this telescope, probably more inclined to recommend a camera system that would enable you to actually look through the eyepiece. Look elsewhere on our um, uh, channel to see information about digiscoping with telescopes very much like this. So there we are, that's the Mercury 705, an ideal telescope for a starter instrument if you need to be able to kind of work in these two areas, you want to do wildlife imaging on the one hand, but you'd also like to do a little bit of astronomy as well. That's the Mercury 705 from Skywatcher. That's it, bye for now.